Hi my friends, so I am back again. I felt that I just wanted to do a follow-up video from the one that I just released and this one is not a prophetic word um, from the Lord to the body of Christ. This is just something I would like to share with you with those of you who have been through the wilderness and through the fire and find yourselves in a place where you're not really sure what's what's happening because I know that a large part in the body of Christ, especially God's faithful ones, have been through an intense, intense period of trial and testing to refine us and purify us. And we're all waiting on promises and taking possession of our promised land. And some have already started taking possession of it. Others are in the place where they're just like, we've got no idea, we're still waiting and all of that. And so I just want to share with you a vision the Lord gave me because I think it might actually be similar for some of you on your journeys and again like i said this is not a prophetic word but if this is something that will speak to you take it to the lord and ask him if you might be in that place as well so about a week ago maybe two weeks ago i was um sitting with the lord and i um I always talk to the Lord pretty much about, you know, what's happening in my life, my season, what he wants to do and those sort of things. And um, and on this, this morning, I was just sitting with him and um, asked him for a vision. And he, um, he asked me, what do I see? And anyway, um, I was staring in Jesus' eyes and in his eyes were fire. And when I looked in the fire, I saw myself dancing in the fire. And... In that fire, I could feel the flames. I could feel the intensity. I could feel the heat. But I wasn't ablaze. I wasn't burning. And I was dancing. And so even though I felt that heat around me, in my heart, there was like this, this joy and this dancing, even though it was hot, right? And anyway, and so I said that to the Lord. And um, he said, yeah, you, you see correctly. And I'm like, okay. Lord, what, what are you saying? And um, he then shifted the picture and then he showed me where I was in the rain, but like really, really heavy rain. So I'm not talking like pouring rain and the skies were dark, full um, of heavy rain clouds. And I had an umbrella um, just standing underneath a black umbrella and I was like drenched, soaking drenched with all this rain just pouring and pouring and it was everywhere and it's you know you, you kind of can't move in those times because of, of the heavy rain but the thing is I felt cold I felt wet but in my heart I felt content and I felt at peace like I knew it was going to end right like with any rainstorm you know that with the rain pouring down it's going to end and then the sun is going to come out and that's kind of how I felt and so I said to the Lord, well, this is what I see too. And I'm like, what are you, what are you saying, Lord? And um, he said to me, well, in your wilderness season, you were in the fire, that first picture. You were in the furnace. And in a furnace, you are very limited. It's like a cave or like a prison, like a very tight constraint where you're just then being burned with fire. And the idea of the fire is to purify you from any impurities, any wrong mindsets, anything that is hindering you from entering into that new level with the Lord, right? And also training you and equipping you and all of that, like a lot of stuff happens in that fire to bring out any impurities and to fortify you. And that is what was happening in the wilderness season. And so he was teaching us how to dance through that fire, how to dance even in in the midst of that adversity, even in the midst of the burning, of the purification, all of that, we still had to join the Lord, but we were restrained. We couldn't move out of that. <clears throat> and then we went out of the wilderness. And now I find myself in the rain. And so with the rain, you're still limited in your movement. Okay, you're still limited in your movement because it's pouring down. So you can't do what you would do on a bright sunny day, right? Your activities are still limited, but it's not fire. It's just this rain pouring. And um, as this rain was pouring, the Lord showed me all this water going down the drain um, in the street. And then we followed it. 
and it went and became like a river and i saw that then running down towards trees and plants and grass and things like that and um and then the lord said to me what now is happening is the heavy purification and burning and all of that in the wilderness is done now it's a new day of raining and what's happening is he's is washing away any remnants of destruction he's washing away anything else that was left and also what that rain is doing is it's nourishing and so when he showed me the plants and and the trees it was nourishing them with the water that they needed because they looked dry and parched and all of that and after that after the rain all of a sudden the beautiful sun came out and you just saw all these plants blooming the fire flowers coming out the green grass the trees and all of that and it was such a beautiful bright sunny day and so the lord was saying he's washing away any remnants of destruction but he's also nourishing and feeding and bringing the rain so that all these little seeds all these dry plants everything that was sort of dormant during the wilderness season is being fed now so it can then come forth into a bright and sunny day and so that correlates with the words that he released um, to me previously earlier in the year as well about us being in a harvest season already us being in our promised land already um, you know just being confined like we are working um, the ground where we are at but because he's still busy doing stuff like with the rain cleansing nourishing and all of that the things that we can't see and that is why some things sometimes don't look externally or natural as we expect because it all happens spiritually yet but he's working and it's a different season so i thought i'd just share that with you guys um for some of you if, if that might help and um yeah my friends this is amazing times this is good times and you know the lord is always faithful and he comes through to his word just not in our timing his words are always higher than our ways you know and his thoughts are so much greater than ours but if you hold on my friend he's the same god of the bible and we will see him come through in all the areas in our life that we need to so hold on to him God bless you. Bye.